Hey there, you wanna learn how to keep more of your own money in your own pocket when it comes tax time? Hello, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. That way you're notified when I come out with new content. On my channel, I really wanna help you and help you in ways of making more money and improving your ratings on food delivery companies. In today's tip, there's actually two pro tips, and this is good for anybody who works on a gig economy app, and that could be food delivery, ride share, grocery shopping, task rabbit, you name it, walking dogs, taking care of cats, let's go. Today I'm gonna give you two pro tips on how to track all your mileage and expenses, and this is gonna pay you back with money in your pocket instead of giving it to the government. So, there are two ways to deduct your vehicle expenses and yes, there are issues with both. Keep in mind, I'm not a tax professional by any means, so this is my opinion. However, just like me, you can research all this online for yourself and learn the same things. In my opinion, it is best to track your mileage and expenses doing both of these options, and then at the end of the year, claim the method that's gonna give you the most money back on your taxes. You can think of this as working for yourself, the time and effort you put in is money straight into your pocket instead of allowing the government to spend it frivolously like we've all seen recently. So the first deduction method is the standard mileage rate. This takes into account what it takes to operate your vehicle that includes fuel, oil, tires, maintenance, repairs, your car insurance, the registration with the DMV, and depreciation or lease payments, depending on which applies to you. This rate is set by the IRS every year and it does change. My first pro tip for you today is don't rely only on what that food delivery company or the rideshare company is telling you the miles that you drove compared to the money that you earned with them. They are only tracking your mileage from the time you accept the order until you complete it or pick up the passenger and drop them off. This doesn't give you all the mileage that you actually drove though. I'm pretty sure that you can't deduct the mileage from the time you get up from your house and head on out until you come home at night. Pretty sure you can't do that. But you can track for every order from the time you accept it until you drop off and then that mileage until your next order because you're not out joyriding for fun, right? We're out to make money, so claim all that mileage. How do you claim that mileage? Well, you need to start at the beginning of the year. Write down your odometer, take a picture if you like, and then from every step forward, anytime you're on a trip, write down the beginning mileage, the ending mileage, the date, and the purpose of the trip, business or personal. And you're gonna do this the whole time. You can either do this manually on the piece of paper, like I just mentioned, or you can use one of the many uh, mileage tracking apps that are out there, and there's a ton. The second method for deducting your vehicle expenses is to track all your expenses. Keep receipts for all your fuel, oil changes, maintenance, repairs, cleaning supplies, passenger entertainment, vehicle insurance, and vehicle registration. You will also apply vehicle depreciation or lease payments as it applies to you. You still need to track all of your miles, both business and personal. Then at the end of the year, you can apply that proportion of business miles to personal miles and apply the business portion of those miles to your tax return for your expenses. If you only use your car for food delivery, rideshare, or the other gig economy apps, then it's easy. You can deduct 100% because it's only for work, right? I think for most drivers though, we do this part-time, and so you do need to account for the difference between the personal and business miles. The second pro tip that I have for you today is to account for both of these methods. No matter what, you're not wasting your time. This is gonna help you know exactly how much you're spending to operate your vehicle. And this knowledge will help you to make wise business decisions on which orders, rides, offers that you decide to take. It's out of scope to tell you which uh, mileage tracking app to use. 
I personally happen to use Triplog just because that's what I started with. Um, I don't have experience with the others. If you do use Triplog, I found that their $20 Bluetooth beacon is very good. I did try their newest GPS stick, um, but I had some firmware issues and I just haven't tried again. I, I kind of don't trust it. So I would say stick with their $20 Bluetooth beacon if you use Triplog. You might consider hiring a tax professional to do your taxes. I used to do my own, but once I started doing the gig economy apps part-time, I found it's well worth the investment to use a tax professional to prepare your taxes. That way you don't get in trouble with the government. So what do you think of those two pro tips? Can I encourage you? Track everything. It's well worth your time. And then when it comes time to file your taxes, you can see which one will pay you the most. Please share in the comments below, and I imagine this is going to get lively. What mileage tracking app do you use and recommend, and why? Again, I mentioned Triplog. That's just because I came across it, and it was probably from another YouTube channel um, three years ago when I started this. So I am curious. Maybe I'll switch, and we can help each other figure out which mileage tracking app is the most user-friendly, most important, how reliable it is, and how much it costs to use. All right, everybody, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!